Hi, how are we doing? I'm Ben from EQL Networks and Security. So today we're gonna to be looking at Hikvision intercoms. So how good would it be if you're not home but you're able to answer the doorbell and possibly answer the door and open the door from anywhere in the world? Well, we're gonna be looking at different styles of door intercoms and internal monitors and see how they can be used. So if you're new to this channel and like what you see, be sure to hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up. This will allow you to get the latest network tips, news and reviews designed to save you time. If you have any questions or comments, hit us up in that comment sections below. So let's get into this. So one of the biggest advantages of using intercoms is the ability to integrate with Hilook or Hikvision NVRs and their app. So now you don't need multiple apps for your CCTV and then another app for your intercom. They can all be viewed and answered from that one app. Another benefit is you're also able to use the intercom doorbell as a camera. You know, as another camera, you can have this record directly to the NVR. So now let's take a look at the app. So when the doorbell is pressed, it also rings your mobile phone like an incoming phone call. You can answer the doorbell from your phone and the video and audio will go straight to your mobile. Another great thing about the app is every time the doorbell is pressed, a snapshot image is stored. So from the app, you can then view who pressed the doorbell and when they pressed it. So now let's take a look at the doorbell intercoms or front door stations. So there are two types of door stations. The first is a slimline doorbell and the part number is listed here. Um, if it also has a built-in Wi-Fi and RFL ID card to connect and access the front door. It's slimline light feature makes it great for smaller areas, but one of the downsides is it's made out of plastic. The second one is a modular doorbell and the part number we listed here. The, this door station can either be used as a standalone product or connected up with other modules such as a, a keypad, which I don't have here, um, but it might magically appear here. And then we've got like RFD recorders and displays and many more. Since it's modular, the outer casing itself is metal and it feels a lot more solid. This doorbell can now be used on townhouses or apartments and any other type of uh, residential property that you got. So the modular system can either be surface mounted or flush mounted, but can also be configured in a different a number of different combinations. For example, you could pair the door station with a keypad or an RF, RF, blah, 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 RF ID swipe to allow access. You know, there are a number of different options available. So next we'll have two types of indoor monitors. Both monitors have exactly the same setup as, and its settings, except one is made from plastic and then the other is basically metal. Or if I might've got that around the wrong way, I don't know my left from right, but that one's the plastic, that's the metal one. So if we do a side-by-side -side comparison, you can see one is slightly smaller and will sit closer to the wall as it's slimmer. There is also a larger 10 inch version of this screen if you desire. The monitor simply click on this bracket mounted to the wall. So how do we connect all this hardware together? So let's start with the doorbell. From the doorbell, we need an ethernet cable such as a Cat5 or Cat6 connected to a PoE switch. Now, from the indoor monitor, we need another cable running back to that same PoE switch. If you have multiple indoor monitors, you will need a cable for each monitor running back to that same PoE switch. This is a simple setup, but can be set up with more complex networking um, setups if it's required. So once the cables have run, been, been run back to the PoE switch, you'll need another connection to your modem or router. This will allow your intercom to connect to the internet so you can answer the door remotely. The setup is fairly simple. So once everything's connected, ensure that your modem is on DHCP before turning it on. From there, it's just a matter of following the wizard and connecting it up. If you want to use the intercom in a more advanced scenario where it acts as a camera and NVR, you're going to need to use basic networking skills to set up the intercoms by giving them an IP address and manually adding them to the door station. If you haven't done any networking before, you may find this difficult, but at EQL, we're here to help and guide you through this and setting up that intercom. So that's it for this video. If you found this video informative, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and click on the bell to subscribe. This will allow you to get notified of our latest product reviews and tips designed to save you time. While you're at it, hit us up in the comments section for any questions you may have. At EQL, we're always here to help and support your business.